Hello. Hello, all the dears. First of all, uh, I want to share uh, information uh, with you. We all are in the critical situation. All the Indian people, as well as the people of whole world, due to a dangerous virus named as COVID-19, as coronavirus. So, I am requested to all of you stay at home and be safe for this dangerous virus. After then, being a teacher, I am thinking about the students who are just appearing in class 12th. Their session getting late. The reason is again the coronavirus. What uh, the life is moving, so uh, we cannot wait uh, for the study. And I have an idea, being at home, I have to do some creative work uh, for me and uh, for you, uh, who are the students of science stream. And uh, the students of class 12th, I have a suggestion for them. First of all, they have to download NCRT of physics, chemistry, biology and some other subjects. And uh, because I am a physics teacher, so I am discussing about the physics only. So my suggestion for the physics student, uh, you have to download the NCRT uh, from any site and uh, read it. Chapter wise. So, as you know, your first topic uh, is charge and the unit is electrostatics. So, let me discuss about the charge and some inter interesting terms about the charge. As we already uh, read in the junior classes, that about the charge, what is the charge? So, all the students have the answer, the charge has the two types, positive and negative. So, these are the known matters. But now, today I am discussing about some interesting points about the charge. So, your first topic is charge and let me discuss about this. So, first uh, at the 9th standard or 10th standard we studied that the Coulomb's law. So an interesting term about the Coulomb's law is this. The Coulomb's law was discovered by the Cavendish before the Coulomb's. But the fact became known after his death, almost 65 years of death. So this is an interesting term. The Coulomb's law is initially discovered by the Cavendish. And uh, the other term, what is the charge? So, what is the definition of charge? The definition of charge, the charge is a basic property of matter due to which the electrostatic forces are exist. Like the attraction or repulsion, we already know that the similar charge repel together and the similar charge attract together. But there is a fact. This is the only statement or the law of a particular scientist. So I tell you that this is a Cavendish law according to which the similar charges are repelled together and the similar charges are attract together. So we know the types of charges like the positive charge and the negative charge. So we already study uh, an example that when we rub the glass rod with the silk cloth and the ebonite rod uh, with the cat's skin both acquire the power to attract the small pieces of paper and the small particles. The external agency which gives this power is called electricity and after getting this power the objects are said to be charged or electrified. What? Now I ask a question. 
do you know what is the term ammonite used in this example you know about the glass i know you know about the cat's skin and also about the silk what i think this is a term ammonite you don't know about this what is the ammonite so i tell you you all know about the ammonite but not properly all the handles of cooking wares are made by the ammonite or it is a simply a hard rubber heated with a silver sulfur over a long period of time become a hard material named as a ammonite and it is used to make the tank of fountain pen the comb and buttons of the shirts and t-shirts and some other because it is a bad conductor of heat so it is also used in handles of cooking wares uh, this is an interesting term and again again i discuss an interesting term related to the charge the charge on electron is said to be the smallest charge is found in nature that's why it is called the basic fundamental and the elementary charge but according to the new researches we also have a smaller charge than the electron uh, name as the quark the composition of nucleons like protons and neutrons inside the nucleus is supposed to be made by a smaller particles named as the quarks and these quarks are of two types up quark and down quark up quark uh, has the charge two third of the electron and the down quark one third of the electron so but these quarks are not affected the quantization of charge because they always exist in the pair that 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is just equals to the charge on one electron so quantization is not affected by this fact and uh, some other term we can discuss here so first we they are not the charge appear on the glass rod is not known as the positive charge and the charge uh, appear on the ammonite rod is not known as the negative charge initially initially their names are residues and vitreous the older names of the charges and the positive and negative charges are given by the Benjamin Franklin and the initial names revenues and vitreous revenues for negative charge and vitreous for the positive charge are given by the Faraday and the quantization of charge is established by the Millikan but before these are the inventions of Faraday's on the basis of electrolysis law. So now we can discuss some other topics.